Yes, 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 yes. Hello, and uh, it's um, Sunday, December the eleventh. It's my sister, t my sister's, but one of my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, sister! If you're watching this, so uh, call you later. <clears throat> yes, it's me, Nails Dunn, reporting in again. Pancreatic Cancer Chronicles, uh, episode twelve or thirteen, I believe. And I'll just start out with the highlights. The highlights are positive. Um, my tumor has reduced in size, it's been reduced in size ostensibly um, by the chemo and, and good eating and uh, the naturalist approach where I've been using something called chlorophyll. Um, I've been drinking um, that with potassium, no, selenium, I'm sorry, selenium. I've been taking something called prostrate, uh, uh, God, pancreatic enzyme tablets. Um, all these things you can acquire from a naturalist, a naturalist. So see a naturalist if you can. Um, I've also incorporated a, a short cleanse. Well, um, I'm eating mainly fruit and vegetables. Um, grapefruit has become a part of my diet. Uh, it's one of the things I can eat more easily that I can taste. I've been eating um, the probiotic um, yogurt when I can hold it. Um, this particular one is Activa, but I eat any of the Greek ones. Um, and, um, taste isn't, you know, I mean, my taste is, uh, compromised by the chemo, where I'm probably tasting things at about 40%. Many meats I no longer taste, um, <clears throat> due to the extensive and, 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 and intensive chemo. Chicken, excuse me, for, excuse me. Chicken is almost out of the question. I can't taste it. Steak, I totally can't taste. It's like eating cardboard with, you know, nice tenderized cardboard. Um, um, turkey, I can taste to an extent, um, depending on how it's seasoned. Uh, even with heavy seasoning, I can't taste the aforementioned meats that I said I couldn't taste. Um, uh, fish can get through some, you know, it's, um, it's still, it's, it's still difficult to taste and, um, my tongue, as you can see, it's still discolored and, um, it's just like a film on there that's, uh, a, a taste inhibitor, you know, um, Salads have become rough to eat, <laughs> no pun intended, um, but the roughest is good because the chemo can also constipate you. Um, <clears throat> but I try to eat a salad at least once every couple of days. Um, let's see what else. I actually had some pig feet last night that I rather enjoyed, you know. I could taste it. Um, can't really explain why that came through with rice. Salt and pepper and garlic and onion. And I had some Brussels sprouts with it. And Brussels sprouts could, I could taste. So taste is a major, as you can tell, a uh, major issue. Um, and uh, But you have to still eat. And you have to make yourself eat that which is most nutritional. Um, so, so keep your immunity up and fight. Uh, but once again, the tumor did go down about, according to my calculations, by the numbers I were given, over 50%. And keep in mind, I'm dealing with pancreatic cancer, so I'm not supposed to kill people within a year. It's been eight months for me, and things are moving in a positive direction. So I say this so that you, too, will, will hold on to that and, and don't give up. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Just keep fighting. Um, in other news, well, you know, emotionally it's rough. Sometimes you do feel really, really, really alone. And it helps to seek out, you know, loving, accepting family. People, you know, over time tend to forget you, you know. I might be getting a visit, so I'm going to have to stop talking. 
Christian. I don't yes. want them to know this. Yes, Christian. I, I'm doing something kind of important right now. Can you give me some? Um. So, oh yeah. So, Christian, I'm working on something. Please, you need to be out of the picture, okay? I try to spend a lot of quality time with my son and play with him and he's doing well in school for the most part and I have a this crazy dog here Sadie and Sadie it's, it's good to have a pet somebody can unconditionally give you that affection and just be there just be there for you under any conditions force you to play force you out of yourself um Hey man, the world is what it's gonna be, man. I was watching some stuff and blow your mind about Hollywood and and what fam famous people face and and you know, the powers to be, how they manipulate us and manipulate the economy and the Federal Reserve. And, mm. But you gotta hold on to what's positive and affect whatever positive change you can in whatever way you can. But try to hold on to something that's gonna you know, be positive in your life. Or keep a put a smile on your face. And, you know, it's, it's, there's a lot of wickedness. And um, what I'm experiencing may be in a branch of that because I, our food is is tainted and our environment is tainted. You know, so much is tainted. But you just try to hold on to the positive. So that's what I'm trying to hold on to. My next steps are to talk to the doctor, go in for the laparoscopic. And they'll determine, that'll determine if there's any floating. And if there's none, then next steps might be ex excising this thing surgically or maybe more of the chemo. Well, anyway, my son is jumping around in the background. Um, and he doesn't know the severity of all this. and kids are more perspicacious than we think. So I'm going to relinquish this for now. I wish you blessings. If I don't talk to you, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.